and today we are going to talk about the for paper i know i know again and i'm going to teach you how to make water lily this beautiful gorgeous flower with the greenery we are going to make all these parts color the for paper cut it shape it so let's begin for my wafer paper water lily i'll start with wafer paper the one i use is 0.27 millimeters so i'll start with the largest one and i know that i roughly need this much of wafer paper nice thing about working with wafer paper if you're going to cut your petals by hand you can stack up to three layers and cut all three layers at the same time. Now that I have six petals in each size, I wanted to add a touch of pink color. And I'm going to do that by dusting my wafer paper. I'm taking my makeup brush and small amount of petal dust on my paper towel. And I'm going to dust only on the top part, bringing my color in. Like this, you can see that I have a gentle color gradient. And for my wafer paper water lily petals, I'm going to dust them on the bumpy side. I'll do the same to my medium sized petals and small one. And again, I'm dusting everything on the bumpy side, which is going to be my front side for my petals now that i have my petals dusted and i have this beautiful color gradient i'm going to shape them to do that i'll start with my largest petals and i will cut a slit here to all of my six petals so i'm cutting about third way in and to shape my petals, I'm going to use V4 paper glue, which is basically melted V4 paper scraps and water, and I put it in a microwave for a few seconds. And I have a whole video, so you can watch how to make that. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to shape my petal. And you can see it's cut almost halfway through. I'm going to apply a small amount of V4 paper glue on one side only to make it sticky and bring the other side over so i have this shape for my petal again like this all my six petals and to give it a little bit more shape and interest i'm going to bring my foam pad take my dresden tool and using thick end of my dresden tool just gently run here on the top to help this petal become even more interesting in shape. Okay, and I'll do this to my medium sized petals and my small sized petals as well. Now that I have all my petals ready, I'll start with assembling my flower and I'll take a small circle out of wafer paper and we'll attach my petals starting with the largest one. So I'll take the large one, apply a small amount of wafer paper glue and place it on my circle, two petals at a time opposite of each other. Because I have six petals and I need to place them evenly so two opposite of each other and then two more in between and i prefer to use wafer paper glue because i find it's easier to use with wafer paper it won't melt it but it makes it stick enough so it's easy to assemble your flower so two more like this and then I'll take six of my medium sized petals, apply wafer paper glue on the back side, and place them in between my first layer. Like that. So these are my two layers, and I'll add my last one. For my last layer, I'll do the same. I'll place my petals in between my previous layer. So this is my water lily and now we need to make a center. For my center I'll take my template and cut a piece of wafer paper. 
Now what I need is to paint this in yellow and to color my paper paper in yellow I'm going to use yellow gel color and add small amount of food grade glycerin because it will help my weave for paper to stay flexible. And I'm going to use this mixture to paint my weave for paper on both sides. Now I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes to absorb the color and then shape it to make my center. And after about 10 minutes, my wafer paper is dry enough to be shaped. If not, if your wafer paper is thickened, you can add just a touch of cornstarch just to help it prevent from sticking. And I'll take a pair of sharp scissors and I'm going to cut tiny thin slices and make a fringe out of my wafer paper for my water lily center. Now what I need to do is apply my wafer paper glue here on the center on one side. I'm applying on the bumpy side but it doesn't matter for this application because all we need is to shape our wafer paper stamens or water lily center. And I'm going to take an owl to help me but you can use any tool or toothpick to start twisting and shaping the center like this and now all I need to do is to pinch everything together to make it more open and a little bit larger like that I'm going to cut the axis on the bottom again pinch everything together to my liking and now all I need is to take my water lily flower, apply with fur paper glue on the bottom of my center or on my stamens and place it here like this and you can see how dimensional and textural this water lily looks. Now let's make the lily pad. To make my lily pad I'm using my template and a piece of paper paper that I colored using airbrush color and my tiny mister. I have a whole tutorial how to do that but basically I just sprayed my wafer paper with edible airbrush color and I'm going to cut my lily pad Like this, and now I need to shape my lily pad. I'm going to bring my foam pad, and because my environment is a little bit too dry, I wanted to introduce just a touch of moisture to be able to shape my wafer paper. I'm using my mini nano steamer, nano mister, and I'm going to gently apply small amount of cold steam to my wafer paper. And to prevent my wafer paper from melting, I'm applying a small amount of cornstarch just on the outside where I wanted to shape it. To shape my wafer paper lily pad, I'm going to use a ball tool and gently run this ball tool around my lily pad to give this curly look and shape to my wafer paper. Like this and the last step I'm going to turn it upside down take my Dresden tool and draw a few lines on the back side to create veins and give this lily pad even more texture and visual interest so that's how it looks right now after all our manipulation and now you have it beautiful V for paper, water lilies and lily pads that you can put on your cake design. These are 100% edible and made out of V for paper. You can see how textural and dimensional all our elements are.